What last minute gift for Christmas is always a winner. Last year I put hundreds of the best rock music on a USB for my dad to listen to in the car. It was the night before Christmas. He uses it every day still. Last year I was at Microsoft to buying someone a drone, and they have beans of 32GB flash drives at the checkout counter for $3. I bought 15, and put them in every one's stockings. People loved it. Bag of batteries with a note saying toy not included. One year I went to my grandma's house and snapped a few pictures of the old albums. Went home, made some collages out of the pictures, made them into magnets. I did this at home with what I have, but a mail order place can do it too. I didn't know if people would like them, but several people cried when I gave them out. They all compared pictures and still have them up. A card with $5 in it and a super sweet message from my grandpa about how proud of me he is. Happened to me when I was 12. My grandpa had just passed away and he had already made cards for everyone. I still have the card and the $5. I feel like snacks for stocking stuffers are always a win with me. If my wife is reading this please give me BBQ Pringles please for my stocking. Tickets to something that person would enjoy, whether it's a play, musical, concert, dinner theater experience, live podcast, comedy show, sporting event, movie, museum, art show, historic place tour or tour of something else. It's easy to get, just buying tickets slash passes to something, but also very personal and meaningful. It can also range from being a cheap gift, like movie tickets, to more expensive, like a Broadway show depending on your price range and closeness to that person. Homemade cookies. One year I was particularly broke and decided to make everyone Christmas biscuits. Felt a bit stingy as I didn't really spend anything on it, had all the flour, eggs, spices etc already at home and only had to buy a single chocolate bar to make choco chips, but people loved it and now ask me for them each year. I usually personalize the flavors or ice the person's name slash something they like on them. For one friend, who loves warm cookies, I gifted a log of cookie dough and cooking instructions that went down pretty well. One of the best gifts I've ever received was a big box of thrifted books. I'm a big reader of trashy romance novels and I go through them pretty fast. They paid like $5 for this box of books and it gave me like 3 months of reading material. I was super happy. Shop Vacuum eminently practical and it sucks having to buy one for yourself the gifty will laugh and then you will get a text or a call like a month after saying it's the best thing they've ever gotten depends on who you're shopping for like my broke college friends love getting gift cards to things like grubhub and you breeds my mom friends enjoy those gift baskets that come with bath bombs lotions and stuff or a new fluffy robe also if you have the spare time and want parent friends to really love you, a handmade coupon for a free night of babysitting, so they can go to a movie or just get dinner, or even stay home and just sleep. If all else fails, an Amazon gift card. Massage voucher. Most adults don't really need physical things. The ones who do either buy it themselves, if they can afford it, or they would ask for it, which would make the gift not so much a last minute one. If they are drinkers, a nice bottle of champagne. New Year's is right around the corner, and that way they'll have a nice bottle of bubbly to enjoy their night with. One year, my dad warned everyone in advance that he was getting everyone gift cards for Christmas. Okay, sure. Come Christmas morning, I open mine to find a $100 gift card to a local butcher and a note that said to use it for anything except meals for the whole family. Even 20 or 30 bucks will get you an amazing steak that you wouldn't want to spend your own money on. I made custom coasters one year for my entire family. Step 1. Go to Home Depot get free floor samples. Already perfect coaster size. Step 2. Use a wood burning tool to put initials into them. Step 3. Give us a gift. I did this several years ago and whenever I visit I still see the coasters out. About 2 hours of burning and $0 spent, and I had a heartfelt gift for everyone. Depends on person. My wife never complains about jewelry. Also one time I couldn't think of what to get her. I'll let her have a shopping spree at a makeup store she likes. She only wanted 3 things. It costed $85 and they were on sale. 
so tread carefully on that landmine idea. Instead of stockings I always make my friends and family Santa sacks. Santa sacks, I get packs of 2 burlap Christmas bags from Walmart for $5. A mix of at least 3 candies, up to $10, can be other snacks, if your recipients don't like sweets. Small gifts, generally things they need or want throughout the year, but don't want to get themselves, that is dice, pencils, pens, face masks, mini candles, lip balm, razors. For the adults I put an assortment of mini alcohol bottles, can be around $3 each bottle. Scratch off lottery tickets, up to $5 each. Gift cards, only to places you know they like. Overall, each sack costs about $20 each, but has a lot of thought and knickknacks in it. The key is to just know the general likes and dislikes of a person or know what part of life they're in. High school or college students could always use more mechanical pencils or some nice pens. Office workers can always use some nice pens as well. Teachers can use nice colored pens for marking up papers. Females tend to like the self-care items more so face foot, lip masks, lip balm, mini candles, bath bombs, and razors. Smokers, and even non-smokers, might like a little quality zippo. Casual drinkers might like an assortment of mini alcohol bottles. Scratch-offs are almost always fun. Don't get it for any recovering gamblers though. Gift cards are thoughtful if done right. Just make sure it's a place they like and give them an adequate amount to get at least one thing from that place. One good game, one good meal, one good hobby item, etc. You can save some money if you go to Target or Walmart and get those gift boxes that they sell around the holidays with packs of self-care items and others and then split those accordingly among the Santa sacks. Avoid makeup unless you know their shade or preferred brands. Get them a gift card to a nice makeup place instead, though you should expect to put at least $30 to $100 for a decent item or haul. Sorry for the wall of text, but I've finally gotten out of my gift giving funk and want to help anyone else that needs last minute ideas. WDHT comes in with the top est of all posts. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Do all the YouTube things and I'll see you all tomorrow.